Hello viewers, welcome back to Daily Fun TV. Today, we will talk about the spacecraft that approach the Sun, such as NASA's Parker Solar Probe, are specially designed to withstand the extreme conditions of the Sun's vicinity without melting. These spacecraft are equipped with advanced heat-resistant materials and cooling systems to protect them from the intense heat and radiation. Here are a few key reasons why spacecraft can get close to the sun without melting. Let's start. Engineering Solutions Space exploration missions have often aimed to explore the most challenging and extreme environments in our solar system, and getting close to the sun is no exception. The sun is an incredibly hot and intense celestial body, with temperatures reaching millions of degrees at its core. Designing spacecraft to approach and study the sun requires innovative engineering solutions to protect them from the extreme heat and radiation they will encounter. Heat-resistant materials One of the primary challenges in designing a spacecraft for a close encounter with the sun is protecting it from the intense heat. To address this, spacecraft are equipped with heat-resistant materials that can withstand extreme temperatures. These materials are carefully chosen for their ability to reflect, dissipate, or withstand the heat generated by the sun. Some commonly used heat-resistant materials include carbon-based composites are known for their exceptional heat resistance and strength. They are used in heat shields and other critical components of the spacecraft. Refractory metals. Metals like tungsten and niobium have high melting points and are used in various spacecraft components to endure extreme heat. Ceramics such as alumina and silicon carbide are also used for their excellent heat resistance and electrical insulating properties. These materials are strategically placed on the spacecraft's outer surfaces to act as a shield against the sun's heat. They prevent the spacecraft from melting or succumbing to thermal stress. Active cooling systems In addition to heat-resistant materials, spacecraft designed for close encounters with the sun employ active cooling systems to regulate their internal temperatures. These systems are crucial for keeping the spacecraft and its instruments within operational limits. One of the primary cooling mechanisms is radiative cooling. Spacecraft are equipped with large, specially designed heat shields that face the sun. These heat shields are coated with materials that reflect a significant portion of the sun's energy and radiate away the absorbed heat. By maintaining the heat shield's orientation toward the sun, the rest of the spacecraft, including sensitive instruments and electronic components, can be kept in the shade and protected from direct sunlight. Additionally, spacecraft may use heat pipes and thermal insulation to distribute and manage heat within the spacecraft, preventing localized overheating. Trajectory and speed The trajectory and speed at which a spacecraft approaches the sun are critical factors in its ability to withstand the extreme conditions. These missions are carefully planned to minimize the amount of time the spacecraft spends in the hottest regions near the sun. Gravity assists. To reach the vicinity of the sun, spacecraft often use gravity assists from other planets, such as Venus. By carefully planning the trajectory and timing of these gravity assists, mission planners can adjust the spacecraft's speed and trajectory to achieve their desired orbits. Closest Approach While spacecraft are designed to get close to the sun, they are not designed to touch its surface. They follow orbits that take them into the sun's outer atmosphere, known as the corona, but they do not physically touch the sun. The distance to the sun during these missions is carefully calculated to balance the need for scientific observations with the need to protect the spacecraft. Sun pointing The spacecraft's heat shield is typically designed to be sun pointing, meaning it constantly faces the sun to absorb and radiate away heat. 
This orientation is maintained autonomously using onboard sensors and thrusters. If the spacecraft's orientation deviates from the optimal angle, the autonomous systems make corrections to ensure the heat shield remains in the right position. Instrument Protection Sensitive scientific instruments on board the spacecraft are often housed in compartments that can be sealed off from direct sunlight when not in use. This protection helps prevent damage to the instruments during the closest approaches to the sun. Data Transmission Autonomous systems also manage data transmission and storage. They prioritize the collection and transmission of important scientific data while ensuring that the spacecraft's systems remain within their temperature and power limits. Testing and Simulation Before launch, spacecraft designed for close encounters with the Sun undergo extensive testing to ensure their durability and functionality in extreme conditions. These tests often involve simulating the heat and radiation the spacecraft will encounter near the Sun. Thermal Vacuum Chambers Space agencies use large thermal vacuum chambers to subject spacecraft to simulated space conditions. These chambers can recreate the extreme temperatures and vacuum of space, allowing engineers to assess how the spacecraft and its systems respond to the harsh environment. Radiation Testing Spacecraft are also exposed to intense radiation in the laboratory to simulate the radiation levels near the sun. This helps engineers assess how well the spacecraft's electronics and materials can withstand the radiation. Conclusion Spacecraft designed to approach the Sun are marvels of engineering, carefully constructed to withstand the extreme heat and radiation of our nearest star. They rely on heat-resistant materials, active cooling systems, precise trajectory planning, autonomous control systems, and rigorous testing to survive their daring missions. By pushing the boundaries of human knowledge and exploration, these spacecraft provide invaluable insights into the nature of the Sun and its impact on our solar system. That's all for today, please like and subscribe the channel for more informative videos. See you in the next video.